he can then go beyond his point of shoulder. I'll take that, and then over here, that's easier. He likes left. Have you noticed that with him? Even under saddle. Oh, there we go. I'm going to walk away for that. I hope you're all okay with this, but something to think about is he's got a lot of life, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do with him is just cut what I call cut an angle, arc or cut an angle. There he's looking and chewing a little bit. But what I'm doing is I'm sort of moving my feet fairly fast, but notice how I cut and he crosses his left hind leg under. Or I cut to the right and he crosses his right hind leg under. Now I didn't tell you to do this, so you didn't know that you, you know, you, didn't, you weren't able to, to do that. But notice how I'm always in front of this horse. Like, if he, and this is like your question too, if he were to creep, creep up, I'd just go over here. And he crossed his hind le legs a little, didn't he? He offset, he offsetted the haunch. So now, he starts to go, well, there's no sense. Yeah, see now there, he stopped. When I went to cut an angle, he stopped his feet. He's like, I'm just going to stand because I don't need to get in front of you. You're always in front of me. So now I'm further away. So now just momentarily, nose between the shoulders, really important now. Momentarily stop. There. Nose between the shoulder. And I better walk forward because otherwise I'm not going to make him stand. My, yeah. I sh it's fuel on the fire right now. Now... There's another thing to think about with halting. When we ask our horses to halt, they need to give you two eyes when you're in front of them, unless you say otherwise. So what I mean by that is a lot of horses, when they halt, they think that's their chance to look around. Do you, and they'll look right over the top of us sometimes. You ever notice that? So in motion, he focuses. At the halt, he tends to go up left. With he t and for me, he tends to look up, up and to the left. There. Now, he was straight that time. And that was a, and now if I lose him, if, if, if the nose goes past the point of shoulder, you're going to lose the horse mentally if you're in front. So the width of his shoulder, he's got, he's got wide shoulders, right? His nose can be in this, box this wide. But if he goes beyond, we need to be there. He needs to, we'd like him to run into the rope and think he did it to himself, that he ran into that rope, ideally. Now, if I ask him to put his nose past his shoulder, that's different. So if I, now he's a sensitive guy. So if I were to say to him, look, I want you to look over here, and I don't want him to walk off, but he could, he can then go beyond his point of shoulder. I'll take that, and then over here, that's easier. He likes left. Yeah. Have you noticed that with him? Even under saddle. Oh, there we go. I'm going to walk away for that. That was interesting. Now, because he's sensitive, sensitivity is a gift. Uh, uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, nose between the shoulder. So he's used to maybe, yep, that's, and now I want this way. Oh. He's, he picks up on things really like, oh yeah, he's super, there we go. So I'm just going to see if I can get him to look a little further to his, to his right, a little more. I'm trying to be really, and I can see why you don't look at, now that I work with him, he's training you to not look at his face because he is sensitive and, you know, eye contact can be a little, for some horses it's reassuring, for some it's, it's intimidating. You know what, though? It's the whole person, my whole being. So it's, it, he's going to learn, it's cool if Jack looks at me in the eye. In fact, Jack lets me stop sometimes. Uh, Jack asks me to settle when he looks at me in the eye. A little further. I'm, I'm waiting here for another big... I think I'm going to get another big change. Now, right there, he was unclear. He, he, he was ready to, see, he's ready to, to walk forward. And he, he's perceptive. So I'm going to say, no, stay where you're at. Stay straight. I'm going to try to back off a little bit. 
I know right here I'm kind of putting a little more, there, a little more pressure on them. I'm not going to get greedy. There, now I'm going to walk. Because if I stayed there any longer, I was going to overdo. You could see I was getting close. I was getting greedy. Ready? Yeah, I'm going to make myself more interesting. Now, the other thing is as we move more, we move and halt. Watch that life. This is a good horse to see like the life coming up and down. Now, when I trot, you know, I call this trot trotting. I know I'm jogging. But I like to think about when I jog with my horse, am I upright? Am I, how would I, if I were riding your horse right now, how would I be sitting? Would I be like this? Or would I be like this? So that posture, it's really important that we can get that now. I'm going to do a little more. Bringing that life up. And let's just see. I'm more interesting to him now. Now, I didn't get him, I didn't get him amazing, um, but you'll get him. And, but it did, I did give him more space, didn't I? More, more room. Do you mind if...